What's up out there? Welcome back to some more internal suffering. This is episode 21 and hopefully it is lucky episode 21 and we beat this thing and move on and have this event over with. So I have made two key changes to my character or I will be making two key changes. Number one is I ground out the spike shell gloves and number two is I'm going to take this protect item off and turn on um, oh stone skin. I want to try this out real quick, uh, just like this is, and we'll see how things go. I'm going to run some Ruby bolts, just a little quick test. I just want to see how it goes. If I die, I die. No big deal. What I care about seeing is how these gloves inter work. Now, there's been a little bit of controversy, I shouldn't say controversy, but there's been some questions on how I perceive this, these gloves. Um, if you look at the normal Terran God gloves, any of these God gloves, it doesn't matter. They give you 8% damage reduction. That's it. That's all these offer. They may offer a little bit of bonus in there for some melee or whatever, but they basically give you 8% damage reduction. This spiked shell glove gives you that same exact 8% damage reduction. This is key. There's no change to it. It would be nice if it was like 9% or something, but there's no change to this. I'm not losing damage reduction. What I gain is this passive 15% chance to ignore bleed. That's what I care about. That's why I wanted these. Um, there was some question on that. I, I think people got it confused that I thought I was going to get this extra 3% damage reduction in global evasion. I don't think I was m meaning to allude to that. I wished I could get this. Um, the only way I can get this is if I bother to go get the ring um, and then synergize with the ring. Uh, but I would lose the hunter's ring which means that everything in here, well, er, by everything, the red claws and the greater skeletals would heal 10 or 20% every time, every couple of turns. I don't want that. What I wanted is the minus 15% chance to ignore bleed. That's what I care about. That's all I wanted. The damage reduction is identical. It's just giving me that extra little bit of, hopefully I don't get bleed. And I'm hoping that's where we go. The other change that I want to make, uh, Protect Melee reduces their chance to hit by 80%, which is, it's kind of odd because if something has a 9% chance to hit you and you turn this on, it goes up to an, a 20% chance. It's kind of weird the way it works. Um, it doesn't take that 9% and make it 20% less. It actually makes it 20%. So I'm putting that on so the thing hits me less. And if it does hit me, I'm hoping the 15% chance to ignore bleed helps. I want to do a little quick test run with this, just to see how it goes. So I'm going to leave protect item on, but we are going to switch to stone skin, which gives 3% more damage reduction. And I'm hoping that gets me under the auto eat threshold. I'm at 43, six now. And I think this thing's hitting for 44 or something like that. The problem is once I get stacks building up, this goes down and that thing's damage doesn't change. So I have to be able to withstand that hit. Um, the other thing is I also have to kill things faster. So technically I should be running, um, the Jade stone bolts, which, eh, you know what? We'll toss those on real quick. Doesn't matter. Uh, this is going to be a riot. You know what? Hell with it. Let's just do it. I don't even want to waste time. Don't even want to waste time. I have my standard gear set up. Um, same thing with these gloves. These give you a chance to ignore stun and freeze. I don't see a need to change my melee character. He's been doing very well. Uh, the shield of melee power, I, I could put the earth layered shield on, but this gives me a chance to stun a little bit more. I would rather be able to stun. And eventually once we get out of the unhallowed wasteland, I'm going to switch the, maybe the, the ring and the passive piece out. And then I can put some other interesting things and just start going to town. Um, no change to magic. Uh, we will be using incinerate. Um, the thing I like about incinerate is that if you have a 20,000 accuracy rating, this does not miss at all. Um, if your accuracy rating is higher than 20 K, this attack can't miss. I think somebody was talking about using ignite. Uh, the problem with ignite is it can miss. So may as well take the time, the chance of not missing. So we are going to go with this setup and there's not going to be any time to switch between, um, the various attack styles or the spells or the prayers or whatever things moving at a half or a quarter second is just way too much. So I got my cheat sheet out with all the different, my order of how I would take the uh, negatives and we are going to come in here. We're going to go into this event 
And I am probably going to cut a lot of this out. So unless we die, I'm just going to cut a big chunk of this out. Um, and actually, I'm going to restart this whole thing because, well, no, I'll take this one, I guess. It's at the bottom end of what I would take, but I'm going to go ahead and take it. We'll take this here. 100% chance to ignore slow effects. Slayer area effects, 5% stronger. No, we don't want that because that means things are going to be healing much faster. And I'm already at the limit of what I can do with my Slayer gear. And 50% chance to apply burn. Absolutely not. I've taken this before and that one sucks. So we're going to take this one. We're going to take our lumps. I really should put put protect item on, but let's see how this goes. So I think I'm going to start off with ranged. Man, I hope I don't die. <laughs> yep. First right off the bat. Right off the bat. And we're getting stacks. Auto eats down to 41. This thing can stun. 38. But we're using damage reduction, so we should might be a little bit less than that. Uh, down to 30 something. This goes down to 29. All right, he's done. I gotta switch over to melee. Now I wouldn't if this was the normal mode and not this sped up mode, I would switch the protect melee to protect magic. But because it's a sped up game mode, um I can't. And the other thing I've been doing, ah, damn it. What did we lose? Oh, I lost those. So that's the other problem I've ran into. I can't get switched over fast enough and I've already taken damage. I'm trying to figure out which one I need to go to. All right, I died and lost those things. Okay. <laughs> well, then I died on the thing that didn't matter. Well, we're not gonna end it that way. <sighs> Slayer effects, no. No, we don't want them healing. 15% damage reduction. I don't even want that. Plus 15% damage reduction means they take less damage. And I don't really want it, but we'll take it. All right. Here we go. Of course, then I died to something else because I can't switch fast enough. And I had that's what killed me with the Umboras. I was trying to switch and I just ran out of time. I just couldn't do it. Um, 35,000. Oh, we're at 30,000, so I need to... What I'm afraid of losing is something like my Slayer gear that I can't afford to replace or the gloves that I just spent all that time grinding out. Man, this thing's already a son of a bitch. Oh, you know what I don't have? I don't have any prayers on. Turn that on and that on. There we go. Forgot about that. Oh, I should add, if you if this is the first time you've ever done this, you can stop and start the event anytime you want and reselect passes if you don't like them. You can also run from the area you're in. You will have to redo this area, but you don't have to redo that whole phase. There are four or five phases to this whole thing. Um, we need to switch over to here. <sighs> I'm going to grind on this a little bit, but if I, if this, now I'm running into problems with other things killing me and this is getting frustrating <laughs> so now i might actually lose gear uh we have to switch to this and if you have your health really low and it switches creatures on you i've been fighting struggling with what to do first i normally heal up when it switches and then switch my gear set but this happens so fast the the stuff that's hitting you can hit for so hard because of the reverse combat triangle that it it tends to make me die and that's not a good thing <sighs> and you can't see I kind of wish there was a way that you could see what was coming ahead of time too like even if it just said melee or ranged or whatever so you could prepare whichever you were switching or if you had easier oh, easier buttons to switch things with I'd like to run the poison shield on here just to kick off more poison, but that thing doesn't ever seem to hit very much from the ranged guy. I don't know why. You'd think it'd have more of a chance to hit. We're still in 40,000. We're good. And this thing only does 32. Oh, so hopefully we can 
I still haven't even found a red claw yet. Man, we've already got five stacks chucked up. Boy, that went fast. All right, we're at 40,000. The stun is what really hurts in here. This shouldn't take me in there. 38,000, 32,000 I can go down to. I think these things give you stacks anyway. Go ahead and heal that up a little bit. Uh, switch to this. And then having to travel this whole distance to switch in like a quarter second kind of sucks. We're going to have a red claw on the last one. I can feel it. <laughs> so now I don't get red claws. Now that I've got the thing that I want to fight it with, I don't get them. And now I'm running into other issues. That's that's awesome. That's great. <laughs> Switch. You know how many times red claws have been a headache in this fight? And now I haven't even fought one since I got that thing. Yeah, it figures. I'm not complaining because it might actually mean I get through this, but that's frustrating. That is absolutely frustrating. All right, so we're getting stacks up here. 34. I gotta watch this. We're gonna go to 32. Might need to auto eat. I'm gonna hold down on the food button just because this things are now moved into. If I'm stunned, it could one shot me if I if the health isn't at the right spot and. I don't want to die to this thing and lose lose anything, but I mean, if it lost like boots or pants or something like that, I wouldn't care. Or maybe even an earth layered shield, I could deal with that. But I, even the fez, I could probably lose. Probably, you know what I mean. But like some of this stuff, Slayer's crossbow. I got another bow I could switch out. But depending on what gets lost. All right, we're through. That is the worst part. So now what we do is we kick this open here and adjust ourselves in the seat. So there are accuracy ratings, evasion ratings, and attack intervals that have zero percents on here. I don't need to worry about going through the unhallowed wasteland so I can start switching gear out. What I've typically been switching out is the chest piece on every one of these. So we'll put this on here. We'll put this on here. That's going to remove some of this. Um, that's going to remove some of the Slayer gear so that you're not getting those bonuses. The next thing I try to do is to put the set bonus on. Um, if I have it, I don't think I have the set ring for this. Yeah, I do. Yes, I do. Actually, I do. I have the set ring for all these. So I can do this one. I can do this this one and I can do melee so I should have zero percents for every one of those for all these characters oh I don't have the I don't have the spike shell glove so I can't use that um I could use this though it gives a chance to apply poison so I'm fine with that or I could put the poison virulence gloves on and just let it rock you know what if I don't forget, let's put the poison virulence. Sort everything so I don't lose my poison virulence gloves. Uh, let's put these things on here. And I'm going to go back to the scaled shield for. See, this is where I wish they had some kind of hotkey for these sets. Like I could set this up ahead of time and say, this is what I want, and then push a button and it comes in. Um, we're still at 0% on all that. All these changes were still at 0%. I don't think I have anything else I can put on here. But I do have the... I do have this. So I can put that on. Does that get me out of... All right. So I think if I take the Slayer skill cape off, this is going to change that. Yeah. Now I get a whole bunch of accuracy and, and problems that I don't want. I would switch this out with the Infernal Cape, but I don't care to. Uh, it, the Infernal Cape gives you a little damage reduction. Basically, you get 4% damage reduction in a few stats. But I think this I think this other setup, like this is going to cause heavy stun. Uh, between the shield, the amulet, and 
all this stuff. It's just going to be stun city on that. Um, for here, mm, what else do we have here? I could do something for defense. The warlock amulet, this thing only gives you lifesteal. It doesn't really help out in any other way. Um, I could do, no, I can't do that because that's going to replace it. So that's really all I can do there for magic. Not a big deal. And then ranged, I'm going to leave like this. Um, in fact, I might switch out. Let's go to diamond bolts. Um, you know what? Let's drop down to Ruby. Let's drop down to Ruby. They're pretty far down on the list, but the stuff we're fighting isn't going to be terrible. So, um, I'm going to take the protect melee off and we're going to put battle heart on. So that's going to lower the damage reduction of who we're fighting. Uh, he's got poison virulence with the scaled shield. So that should help give poison. Um, this combination gives some, yeah, some accuracy and stuff like that. So, all right, let's try this out. The thing we have to worry about here, actually, you know what? I don't want battle heart. I take that back. This is going to be one of those quick ones. Come on, click off. I don't know why that doesn't click off, but it doesn't. Uh, in this one, we have to worry about the rockins. Um, of course, we could die to an Umbora or anything like that, but we have, I don't have damage reduction on, I have stone skin on. So let's see how this goes. Clear the mist and we need magic. Burn this thing down real quick. <sighs> Hopefully real quick. Yeah, just shred this thing. All right, heal up, switch to, no, switch to magic, uh, melee, melee, I gotta remember. That stun's already kicked in, that thing's dead and gone. Umbora's, and that's what killed me with the Umbora's, I had to, I was trying to figure out what I needed to hit. I think I was down on health from the uh, Rockins, and I went to switch over and it, it just, it one-shotted me. So I need to heal up before that dies, switch to magic. And this should be fairly easy, fairly straightforward and no big deal. So I'm going to cut things off right here and we are going to come back when I'm fighting Bane. All right, we are back with the Bane fight. And the cool thing is this is going to be on magic. So now we can kind of gear up the magical character uh, the way we want to. And let's see here. I will equip, I don't know if I want the, I think I will equip the guardian amulet this time. That gives more damage reduction. And we're definitely going to equip the protect magic and stone skin. That way he doesn't hit as hard. And I think I want to leave things the way they are. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else I want to change. Uh, I do want to add the surge to aura so that this fight goes a little faster. Uh, we should be good. Let's go. And when he does mist walk is when he starts healing. Suffocate. The thing about suffocate is you don't want it to get you below 50% because then you get stunned. Um, he is immune to stun. But doesn't say you can't light him on fire. So I'm going to pump the heal button here every once in a while. He doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot of damage here. And we're just melting him away, literally burning him off. So he's taking a good chunk of damage and his healing can't outpace that at all. And we're 34,000 hit points. I don't think he stuns us. He might. I know one of them does. I think. Oh, well, the stun comes in if you go low on suffocate. That's what it is. Um, sleep, well, sleep, not stun. So we just melt him away and add another shield to another melee shield to our list. Oh, he's actually starting to heal ahead. I kind of don't like these bosses that heal because it just drags the fight out, especially if you can't hit them consistent or if you can't get the extra stuff that counteracts their healing. Uh, they just heal past every... Oh, we just died. And I lost my earth layered shield. Son of a bitch. Damn, man. <laughs> and that's been my pain with this entire time. 
Uh, I just, I try and it just doesn't go anywhere. It just doesn't work. I get killed by something and that's with all the damage reduction and stuff that I can muster. And it's just, uh, it's just not working. <sighs> all right. So I'm going to call it here. I think I might try this again. I don't really have any other aces up my sleeve to try, but I'm going to call it here and I'll run this video out. And we'll either do, I'll either keep attempting this or we'll do a recap because I do need to run through hardcore combat only and see how we go with that fight. Anyway, that will do it for this one. We'll catch you on the next one. Take care.